this tutorial is part of my draw this in your style challenge over at instagram because i am celebrating 135,000 followers so if you want go take a look over there and one lucky comment will also get this drawing from me and i'll be sharing my favorite entries of the challenge too and as always, if you don't want to sketch out yourself, you can get the line art by becoming my Patreon or on my coffee shop. Links will be in the description. And the reference photo you can find on my Instagram. I took it while on my visit to London and this is Neil's yard. Such a fantastic place in the city full with colors. So I'm keeping the sketch pretty loose. I have an A5 size paper, 300 GSM cold press watercolor paper. And I started by making a rectangle for the buildings and I also will be drawing them front view. The reference photo is a bit tilted, so go for whichever view you like. And besides the rectangle, I am freehand sketching everything, but as I said pretty loosely, the details will come when I'll do the ink part. So enjoy the sketch part! For the outlining I am using waterproof ink fineliner 0.2 size and I start with the objects that are in the front and then go to the building itself and as usual I don't draw super neat, the lines are wobbly wobbly and I add little lines and dots to give some character for the drawing and as this is fineliner the lines are always the same thickness so if you want a darker and thicker line go over it more times than one and it will do the job.
This is how the drawing is looking so far. Now onto the colors. I'm using yellow, red and white gouache and watercolors like blue, cerulean blue, sap green, olive green, naples orange, yellow, raw sienna, warm grey, black, violet, burnt amber and burnt sienna. So, what I did before was color all the walls in light layer of raw sienna. And now for the greenery, first layer I am using olive green. I have round brush size 11, but use any brush you feel comfortable with. And I am not wetting my paper, so this technique is called wet on dry. Now for this door and also the window frames on the next house, <laughs> I am using Ceruleum Blue. And I also want to include the color palette onto these metal flower pot cans. I already know I want my sun to be on the right side, so I am making the left side of this thing darker. And with the clean wet brush, I blend out the color. The roof I am coloring with warm grey, but very light layer. For the first house window frames I am using Naples orange and I don't color the middle part because that I will do after I add some color in the middle. If you draw on a bigger size paper, you can easy do it now. And I will use the same color for another metal can and with the same technique I will apply darker color on the left side and with clean wet brush smudge out the color as we did before with the blue metal can. In the photo it looks like this part is like ocean blue, so I mixed olive green with ceruleum blue and that did the job. For the shop sign I am using light blue, but any blue you have will do. And it looked too dark, so I didn't finish coloring it, but added more water and blended the color out. And then it looked lighter. Now I am adding black to the doors and also shop window frames, but I am not going pure black, I mix the color with the water, so if at the end it will look too light, I can add another layer of black.
For the bricks, I am using flat brush size 2. The smaller the brush, the smaller the bricks. And I have mixed burnt sienna with water and just slowly draw bricks all over the walls. I always try to find a place to start from if there is a straight line going over like the wall to guide the bricks it is pretty easy but as there was a lot of plants I started from almost the top and when the bricks will be done I will wait a bit for them to dry and then I will go over some of them with burnt amber to darken and and add interest to the drawing. So the middle flower metal can I colored with yellow and do the same as before, darken one side and with clean wet brush smudge out the color and then I will color in all the windows with the yellow because I want the drawing to look super warm. For the ground I am using warm grey but very watered down and then just draw all over the ground place, make some interesting brush strokes and while it is still wet you can go in with more grey or another color if you want and let them bleed together. Well this is pretty easy. The tree I am coloring with burnt sienna because it is brown and the tree trunk is brown. So all the main things are done. Now I'm just going over the drawing using the colors but just a bit opaque version than before like darker version and I make everything look more dimensional. So go over the cans, the building itself and for the greenery I'm using sap green to darken it. But also showing the first olive green layer through. I wanted the fence to look more interesting, so I am going over with the black, but not super neat. I leave some uncolored spaces too, just to give some interest. So for the shadows I mixed violet with burnt amber. It gives this rich warm purplish brown shadow. And I draw shadows. So remember my sun is on the right side, so the plants will make shadow on the left side. Also the window frames, the cans will also make the shadow, but if you don't like the shadows, don't draw them. It can always be a cloudy day. And then I add some flowers with gouache. Add some splatters with all the colors from the palette and yes, I also added the orange to the window frame insides, forgot about those. And I put some green dots on the ground, so those will look like leaves have fallen off the trees. And with the white gouache I highlighted some spaces. And that is it. So I will be super happy to see your version of this drawing, tag me at Instagram and see you next time. Bye!